Okay, this video is on a repair of a uh, chem position solenoid. This is for oil on a 2002 Toyota Sienna. And uh, on the left hand, I have some stills. And on the right hand, I'll be playing a video. So right here in this location where I have my mouse, I'm kind of circling that right there. That is the cam position sensor. Now, this side is the this this side is the driver's side. So, whenever you're going to work on a car, um, a modern day car is more prevalent. But typically, they speak on uh, from the driver's point of view. So, the driver is out over here, and he's looking forward, okay? So, meaning, this would be the left side, and this would be the right side, okay? Left side, right side, in the perspective of the driver who is viewing in the direction that I am now moving the mouse. Okay, so we're going to go through them stills, but this was the repair right here. And I'll walk through. So that's just another view. And a lot of these are going to just be views. So this is just, I took the cover off and was working on it. And uh, here is after the repair, uh, I ended up cracking the radiator so I'm gonna move on to the video so pay attention to this side of the video because right now as I'm pointing the finger here on this left still well that's just after I let the bag cool down so I'm gonna play the video now so attention over here on this side so as you can see I leaned on it uh, the O2 and uh, crack the uh, oh, <laughs> you see the uh, camera. Yeah. See that? So back it off, back it off, and uh, there's the crack. So uh, this is required another carburetor, I mean, carburetor, <laughs> another radiator, or some JV well, um, some of this. Uh, Water well material, it's good for PVC. But uh, I'm gonna try it, but uh, I think I'm going okay, to. So I'm gonna start skipping through this a little bit faster. Now I'm trying to explain my knee. Accidentally leaning on that, and it was a gut. But it's the one that caused that too. So. Because if you didn't catch that, uh, I said that uh, my gut had caused that. So I'm gonna now nah, leave it up. Never mind. So let's, let's stick up. So I'll walk through the steps. So here's the JV well. Let me turn that around. And as you can see, PVC plastic. Um, here is the initial culprit. Let's see if I can get that in the right view I want. Okay, so this is the AutoZone part number TS1029 made for a 2002 Toyota Sienna 3.0 V6 engine. Uh, what you'll notice here is that you have the cap, but I lost the plunger, I don't know where, somewhere in my garage. I didn't care, it was broken. This is a one bolt removal, and the VVTI or cam position solenoid this is a solenoid it has a metal plunger down here this here that you have the sleeve and you see those cutouts let me uh, try to zoom in uh, see if I can get that picture right there so as you can see this had these slits here will allow oil when the plunger move retracts and the 
mind you, like I'm repeating myself, the plunger, I lost it somewhere. I extracted it out of there. The reason for even the video being made is that um, in warning on not using lithium grease on these because the location on a Toyota Sienna is so compact and so difficult to take off it, it requires quite a bit uh, quite an amount of effort so if you are not uh, equipped to do this uh, it's going to be an expensive situation so I suggest that uh, either you brush up on repair or leave it to an expert. I'll put some links or some videos but what I ended up doing at the end was getting a, a left hand uh, extraction tool set and uh, just tapped it with a small hammer that I have and uh, started going counterclockwise enough to where I, I broke broke it free so I broke this sleeve free because this was embedded in the block of the engine this sleeve uh, was embedded in the block of the engine and boy it was tough this this ended up being about a four hour job altogether so let's keep going let me uh let me zoom out and you can see the part number in case you need a 2003 Toyota Sienna uh, they call it VVTI but that's the part number right there. So we're going. This is an outer view of the uh, engine. I okay. Let me go back. So here I'm pointing to a miss hosing or a position of hosing. So this right here, I am going to zoom. And these uh that I'm highlighting, they're, they're for a reason. Um. You see right here, this this green T right here, this is a vacuum line. This has actually been misplaced there. And this line is actually a coolant line that goes here on this stud right here. In other words, the T line goes up here. And this line goes where the T line is at. In that position, so they would swap positions. So let's keep going. Here's just another view, and you can see that's misrouted. Let's go up, and this one is to go down. Um, I skipped a little bit there, go too fast. It's another view, and all of this does not have the cover. And just for the sake of uh, you guys remembering this I am looking at this from let's say like the mechanics position so this is my right side and this is my left side over here but when you go and purchase equipment for these engines you know like you're across always this is going to be the left side and this is going to be the right side that's just the way it's in automotive parts some will say exhaust, some will take intake. Most people can understand if you just say this is the left side, this is the right side. Um, sometimes you can say this is the back and this is the front. Depends on who you ask. And uh, I think that will do it for this video. Um, I'll post some links later on to you know, the actual process. Some people took better videos of when they were doing it, but not quite the way I had to do it. Uh, I found my way a lot easier, and I'll post the tools that I use and a follow up to this or an update to this uh, video in the links portion. So if you run into this, you can do the same thing and not pay a thousand plus dollars so I was quoted a thousand fifty nine and uh, of course they give you half ass information because they want your money and your objectives are to keep your money I hope this helps you a little bit and I uh, wish you luck today